Hello everyone, you probably won't believe what I'm going to tell you. You see this feather? Well, I wanted to kind of get materials for it, but then realized that they don't have a um, second level axe. Now, I noticed this before, but for some reason, for maybe reason unknown, I decided just to ignore it. <laughs> I don't know why. So all these hours, I didn't even have a second level axe. I, th I, I think I thought it was related to the eggs and it's kind of hinder my ability to progress and just skip it and you know it eventually I stopped playing for some time anyway this is something that I had to do and this is exactly what I did so that's what I did again I crafted the insect axe so simple I had those materials by the way a long 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 time ago oh my god I just can't believe it I'm sorry I'm sorry <sighs> Anyway, I went there and I got the material for the feather and then of course what I needed to do is just scan it to see it, to analyze it to see whether I'm gonna get uh, you know some uh, items to craft. <laughs> After years, I mean a, a few weeks <laughs> that I haven't analyzed a single thing, finally something new and you get raw science. Amazing! Wow, finally I can play, but of course I needed to get more stuff uh, with this X because there are probably other uh, places where I can use the level 2 X that I haven't, and I remember quite a few. Now I didn't remember all the things, just remember that there are things which I can use the level 2 X, and for some reason I didn't, um, I thought that I didn't unlock it, you know, I need to kind of get something, maybe the end X to be able to unlock it. And I was just running around and I still haven't discovered everything, but it was this one. Uh, uh, what's this called? Husky weed. Anyway, this one uh, is the first time that I'm actually getting it. Now, all this type of wood you can get from other plants, but still, you know, for one plant, I think one other plant. Uh, but still, I was very excited that I can actually use the axe for the first time. Actually, it was the first time, second time. First time I used it on the uh, uh, on the feather. Anyway, I continue on and by the way, if you remember the video that I posted on my YouTube channel of the crow Well, it happened on the same day. Look at this so beautiful and I try to you know could tire to farm for feathers But it doesn't give anything you can climb on it You can't do anything it's just there for the beauty of it and it drops feathers from time to time in different areas It was nice to just see the crow in you know uh, up close. It was really cool Now at some point I tried to hit it with the axe, uh, I think the crow didn't like it and eventually just it flew away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, you see? Bye bye. But this is not the only thing I discovered. Oh my god! Look at this! Oh no no no, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna... Wait, wait, how do I get this? How do I get this? How do I get this? Think, McFly! Think! Of course, I realized later that I need to get the spear. Well, uh, that's what I did. I went home to get the spear in order to try to get those cute creatures. Now, what I did is was dark and I was able to capture two creatures. But Mr. Brain here forgot that when you go to sleep, the meat of these creatures will get spoiled. Oh, well, I realized it later. By the way, it was a beautiful night that night. And I, had, I put some uh, a tent there so I can actually sleep. But look at this, what a beautiful night. Ah, unbelievable. All right, so the next morning, that's what I did. I went to swim, uh, to dive in order to get some more meat. Uh, the reason I need this meat is because uh, I have a recipe which I found online, I didn't discover it myself, which when, I, which when I drink it, I can actually dive and I don't lose oxygen. But this is a limited time, I think like, you know, 20 seconds, something like that, 30 seconds. Uh, anyway, if you craft several of them, you can really swim for a long time and discover things in the abyss. <laughs> the abyss. <laughs> I wanted to say pond. Anyway, uh, not pond. What I'm talking about? I mean, puddle. It's a puddle. It's not even a pond. It's just we are so, too small, so it just feels like you're in the ocean. Anyway, let's move on. So the thing is that you need to use the spear. The spear is the only weapon in the game which you can actually use underwater. So all you do is just, you know, to search for them um, and you can easily see them, you know, they're kind of a, you know, they're kind of a jellyfish. 
uh, in a way, a uh, ghostly jellyfish. Uh, but you know, a few hits, like three hits, four hits, I think, you can get them and you just drop uh, the meat and you need to collect it. So here is one. They actually look like ghosts from Ghostbusters, right? How do you call this ghost? I forgot the name. Okay, I just searched on Google. Uh, it's called Slimmer. Slimmer. Yeah, so this one looks like Slimmer, but it's not green. It's actually transparent. Semi-transparent. It's not even semi-transparent. Yeah, maybe it is. It's a jellyfish. Anyway, I got some uh, meat and I was ready to uh, get it done. So the thing is that when you get the meat, you can't sleep. You need to... Uh, if you go to sleep, the meat will get rotten. I think it will get rotten after several hours, even if you don't sleep. Anyway, you need to go and quickly uh, craft this uh, juice. Oh yeah, the professor here forgot to actually make space in the inventory. <laughs> now on the way back, I was so happy to see a lot of working ants, but I did. I wasn't happy to actually see them trying to get into my base. I wasn't happy about that. Wasn't happy at all. Of course, with my mint axe, I was able to eliminate them very, very quickly. All right, back to business and you too. Bye bye. Let's make some juice. Anyway, these are the items that you need to put and liquid gels, as you can see. And it's going to look like kind of a, you know, a bluish, uh, you know, juice, like you see at the top there. So this is the liquid juice. When you drink it, uh, you can actually swim on the water for quite a few seconds and without actually needing oxygen. But it's not forever. Keep this in mind. Slowly, a few seconds more, like 20 seconds, I think. Now I went to search for some uh, ant eggs, but obviously no eggs. Why should it be eggs? Why? Right? I haven't been here for months. Why should no? It's not an egg. This is just for decoration. So no eggs for me, and probably I will never find an egg. Forget recommending me doing stuff. It's just not happening. I'm just cursed. It's just, just a cursed. I'm on a cursed garden. That's it. However, one good thing actually got out from actually exploring the cave. And I was exploring it. And look at this. A mint inside. This is a first. This is a first. And the good thing is, when you get the mint, look at this. I can't hold the torch and the axe at the same time. That's why it's dark. And one, two, and fresh defense. A new perk, a new mutation detected. Well, you have to do this if you want to get this mutation. Now, I have to admit that if I wasn't, dis oh, I didn't discover these things, I probably would take another break. But luckily, things are going pretty well. And we're still looking forward to discover new things in the game. So it wasn't bad after all. Although I'm still waiting to find ant eggs. And if I don't find them soon, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be a letter to the devs, I'm telling you. Anyway, it's a fun day and I really enjoy playing. And I'm going to play tomorrow again. Uh, of course, I'm going to share more videos for cool moments. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy it. By the way, I just left one mint because I think this ant might, uh, you know, use it in order to lay eggs at some point. So I was kind of generous at this point. But let's see tomorrow, right? Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.